Hi friends, this is Kingsley the Trainer and in this video we are going to discuss about the happening subject of the day, online classes, which is nothing but le a lesson to listen. What happens in a normal regular class? Even I as a trainer have done it. Quiet please. No, students still talking. Silence please. Students still talking. Finish the homework. Not possible. Submit the assignment. Not possible. Don't shout students. More shouting. Don't talk to each other. Not possible. So listening is a continuous activity in each one of our lives. That is why we have two years to sharpen our listening skills. Perhaps we have online classes. I would like to enlist few of the advantages, the two sides of the coin for anything and everything. So I have understood mostly the advantages of these online classes. And I would like to throw some light on this particular topic for the day. Stress of getting up early and going to school. Children tend to sleep in the mornings and wake up late. It is not advisable to disturb their sleep. A child which sleeps well is a one who is creative. So you wake up the child early in the morning and you disturb the sleep that is not really going to help them psychologically. Less competition. There's no fist fights, no direct interaction with one another and therefore they focus on the jobs individually, freely from the house. They have their own tasks given by the teacher through online. And one more thing is there's less burden for parents. Parents leave the children in some auto rickshaws, particularly the girl children, and were not aware how safe the children were because they have to go to work, they have to earn the bread. But where the child is going, what he or she is doing, how is she responding to the social situation, the parents are totally in the dark. But now the children are safe at home with the parents. Advantages are again good health. Children who go to school early tend to eat very less. I have seen parents literally waking up in the morning not able to cook anything which is of really good health to the children. Which includes even my own daughter as they feel eating too early leads to vomiting sometimes and wish to eat only when they feel like so they can eat homemade food and feel healthy. And there's one more important aspect which I want to dwell upon as I also have a son. A lot of internal fights. So pe all the students, about grade 8 and college students, normally have the fist fights happening nowadays. And then mockery is a new evil which is doing the rounds with children. They even mock their parents at home, which they learn from their friends at school. The span of control in highly populated countries have exceeded the limits and teachers don't know exactly what is going on with each and every student. From there begins the evils of the society, children getting into bad habits, watching wrong movies, roaming around with information. All these affects their thinking capabilities. Self-learning. Students are now dependent on themselves to study and therefore try to do some homework themselves and not depend too much on teachers and friends and tuition centers. This also helps them to be more creative and more truthful to their academics and also do a lot of research into the subject of study. Leisure time. Children have ample time to concentrate on the studies and also take rests. Also, the teachers feel relaxed because continuous presentation before the students will not make even the teachers to be more creative 
about the subjects, they would just do the same thing for the sake of doing and not for the joy of doing.